I'm Joyce Wang. I'm the principal of Joyce Wang Studio. We have two studios, one in Hong Kong and one in London. We pride ourselves in being the most boutique and small of studios, but doing the most significant and international of work across a global portfolio. Namely, we specialize in luxury hospitality, so hotels, restaurants, and bars. I think there were two defining projects, both in Hong Kong, our home city um, of our first studio, being Ammo and Mot32. And then from that there, uh, we worked with the Mandarin Oriental on the High Park Hotel, and then more recently in New York with the Equinox Group on their flagship hotel. For inspiration and design, I draw a lot of parallels with filmmaking. Being able to draw on the way that we compose interiors, the composition within spaces, and how you experience one vignette after another and drive people through different journeys and experiences. Looking at the surrounding forest and actually using some of the timbers of the felled trees um, that are being used to um, go into parts of the building, but also we're reclaiming some of these timbers to create furniture pieces within the kids' area and then within the, um, the various lounges within the club itself. So there's kind of like twofold, like there's the rustic elements and then there is also more sophisticated and refined elements and materials. Another rustic material that we're using is really embracing the idea of wabi-sabi and how you can celebrate um, the imperfection of different materials. I think one of the major challenges on the Magarigawa project was it is a completely new built building. And so when we came onto the project, the building did not exist fully yet. So we have to work closely with the architects kind of one step at a time, you know, we'll design a part of the interior, which then informs the architecture and then vice versa. But you know, being that it is a challenge, it's also something that we're extremely grateful for because we get to shape the architecture itself as well.